nice uh, little remix that. Uh, John Legend, Ordinary People, the Jihad Muhammad remix of Ordinary People. Uh, lots of good stuff. Similar to that and some better as well. Uh, something old, something new and something jazzy too on a Sunday evening with the Swerve. Chilled tunes through till 11 o'clock every Sunday. Uh, just helping you to find uh, your mellow moment. Your favourite seating device in the corner over there. Uh, together with a little table next to it. You know the one? Uh, with a long, cold glass of wine like Or perhaps just a very large scotch, I don't know. It depends on the type of weekend you had, I guess. Uh, but whatever that type of weekend, uh, let us know. Uh, studio at zeroradio.co.uk. I'd love to hear from you. Tell us what it's all been about. If you had yourselves a great night down at the Jesse. Uh, listen, don't forget, as Ian was saying earlier as well, uh, loads of good giggage coming up over the next few weeks and months. Uh, Zero Radio's Killer Soul 11, 17th. You can get your tickets online uh, I think it's until the Monday before the Friday, so that's the 17th, so there'll be about the 13th, I think. Monday the 13th or 12th, I think it is. Uh, that's when they finish going online uh, via the website for the advanced tickets. Uh, prior to that, you can buy them off your friendly local radio presenter uh, and also from uh, what was Lords, the Rayleigh Golf Club uh, reception. Uh, and on the door on the night, it's as easy as that. Uh, but don't miss out, it's going to be a top, top night. It always is three rooms of top tunes, including a little bit of jazz chill out. So there you go. Uh, odd one out coming up a little later on, and of course, a little bit of jazz interlude. If you like your jazz without any interruptions, that's all coming up in around about 50 minutes' time. Chill tunes. Oh. I know we're doing what Chilled Tunes with Merv Griffiths. Ending your weekend on a cool note. On that slightly new trip uh, from the recent album uh, from Huge Groove, this one featuring Jeffrey Osborne. I said last week we'd play this one again, didn't we? Here is Never Met a Woman Like You. <laughs> Cause it feels so right Having you in my life Like the air we breathe Baby, you are refreshing As a summer breeze Giving me satisfaction Somebody from above has blessed me And every time that you caress me Well, I understand That I'm such a lucky man Oh, I never met a woman That I have met up That really couldn't be any better She's a vision of Oh, there is to love Oh, I never met a woman Never, ever met a woman like you You are always thinking of me And nobody's ever loved me like you Crazy, but I never met a lady like you. No, I've 
Such a great album, House of Groove, from Huge Groove, otherwise known as uh, Steve Grove. I always thought that was a bit of an unfortunate stage name, but uh, it works, I guess, on some levels. Uh, Featuring Jeffrey Osborne's vocals, Never Met a Woman Like You. Uh, Hey, listen, talking of meeting women like you, etc., etc., I've got a great story. Uh, I did this on Friday night, in actual fact, uh, if you listened in on Friday. But I thought it was definitely worth another mention, so we'll get on to that uh, after the next track. And guys, if you like your underwear a little bit novel, then you'll have to listen to this one, all right, okay? (laughs) Novel doesn't begin to explain it. That you love me Well boy That wasn't so Do you know what you gave up Happiness Could form in your
Giovanni. Uh, was she worth it? You should have bought her some nice underwear, this one. Oh, that could have been a little bit of a cheesy link there. Uh, right, I did say I was going to tell you this story, which uh, I told out on uh, on Friday's show, and it was just... I'm going to put this up on the website here, or on the Facebook site here, uh, because it was just something that caught my eye, and I thought this, this is... It's one of those OMG moments, and you think to yourself, I don't know, this is this is a little bit wrong on various levels, you know? Uh, apparently, there's a lingerie range uh, that's been proven to be a commercial success for men. Uh, apparently, an Australian company called Homme Mystiere uh, came up with the idea after lamenting the death of fancy male underwear. Uh, and it's aimed to fix this by producing and selling items such as... Now, this is a bit I can't quite get hold of. Uh, bras and thongs specific for the male gender. <laughs> Uh, Brett Krauss, f- from Homme Mystiere founder, explained women have a broad range of fabrics, colours, styles and textures uh, where guys have a limited offering. Yeah, well, that's because we're guys, you know? Uh, we decided to trial a few different patterns and use satins with a hint of lace in the designs, and the response was far greater than expected. Uh, Hom Mistier added that they are looking to expand in opening shops in the UK as a result of the positive reaction for their lingerie has been received. Uh, while many people in, uh, think that our line is something specific for the gay community, it is far more likely that straight guys prefer to wear the lingerie. I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that myself. I shall put this up on our... On our uh, on <laughs> I'm just looking at these pictures. I'm just a little bit gobsmacked, I've got to say. Uh, I'll put this up on our um, Facebook page, and you can, uh, you can make your own, uh, your own mind up about this, all right? Dear, oh, dear. Bras and thongs for blokes, yeah. I'm beginning to feel a little uncomfortable already. Nice polka dot one on here, though. Isn't it? 